Howdy folks, this is Shane, and I just picked up a Panasonic Lumix FZ2500 or FZ2500, depending on where you are. I used one of these while I was away shooting videos for my main channel called In The Blues when I was in the US. And the one benefit I had with using this particular camera over any of my other cameras was it wasn't cutting the files every 4.2 gigabytes. It was literally letting me create 18 gig files that I could then just drop into a hard drive and I was good to go. So I could shoot without having to sync anything. It was just one big file, which was awesome. I got home and I picked one of these up and I bought a new SD card as well. I got one of these gold ones, which are very, very familiar. This is the SanDisk Extreme and it's gold. You'll see these just about everywhere, even in Australia or overseas, these are pretty common. While these are fine for shooting 4K, I was finding that my files were getting split every four gig. And then I thought, oh no, the Australian version of this camera is slightly different. Now, after doing some research, I realized I needed one of these cards. These are slightly different. This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro, and it's the SDXC card. Now, the file formatting between these is slightly different. To my understanding, these are FAT file systems, and these are EXFAT or XFAT. So they're slightly different format, but what this one will allow me to do, it could just be speed related as well. I've heard rumors that it's just a speed thing. These are technically way faster than the other ones, but this allows me to create the files as long as I like, up to 96 gig or thereabouts. So it's pretty wild. I can just record for 30 or 40 minutes straight, fill this card up and have one big file. It doesn't split it, which is fantastic for productivity and just syncing up multiple camera angles. Awesome stuff. This is a video that I thought I'd share with the world because everyone seems to buy these. I think I've got like three or four of these now. So in this particular camera right here, I'm never gonna use this again. I'll be using the SD XC card from now on. This is a 64 gig one as well. It wasn't cheap in Australia, unfortunately. If you are watching in the US, I'll post some links through to Amazon there and you can check these out online. They're a hell of a lot cheaper in the United States than they are in Australia. If files getting split every four to 4.2 gig is frustrating and you own a Panasonic FZ2500, get one of these cards or bigger. Make sure it's at least the specs that you see on screen. You want it to write and read around 90X. So that's just a heads up. 95 would be ideal. So yeah. These are very, very cool cards. It makes the difference for productivity. And what can I say? I was really like disheartened when I got it and it was splitting files after using the American camera and finding out that it just didn't do it. I was like blown away by it. That was this, one of the selling points for me on this camera. And I might do a review on this coming up pretty soon. I've only had it a few days so far and already I'm absolutely loving it. I'm not actually using one of these to shoot this video. I'm using the Sony AX53, which is a really great camera as well. They're both different. I wanted one that would take really great photos as well as really great video and wouldn't chop the files up, which is what my Sony's doing. So I'm gonna actually try one of these new cards in my Sony cameras and see if I get the same results as well. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.